this problem, we want to find the zeros of the polynomial function. So we've got um, f of x is equal 10x to the third minus 27x squared minus 55x plus 12. Now find the zeros. That means we're going to set this equal to zero and solve it. So we've got 10x to the third minus 27x squared minus 55x plus 12 is equal to zero. So we'll put our polynomial on y1 and zero on y2 on our calculator. So I'll press y equals clear and then I'm going to put in 10x to the third so 10x carrot 3 minus 27x squared minus 55x plus 12 and uh, then down arrow to y2 press clear to clear out whatever's there and put 0 on there have to have 0 on y2 this process doesn't work unless you put 0 there now remember if you got one of the New York T84's after you did 10x carrot 3 you had to press your right arrow key before you could do the rest um, it should, all that shouldn't be up in the exponent well now we're going to do a second trace choose intersect so I'll choose number 5 our answer is where it crosses the x-axis. This first one looks like negative 2, negative 1.5, something like that. So let me do enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and I'll put in negative 2 as a guess. And I press enter, and it gives us negative 1.5. Now this is a pretty easy fraction to see, but let's say it wasn't so easy. Whenever you come up with decimals, you want to exit out, so you do second mode, and then you press math, enter, enter. And we see our first answer is negative three halves. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we got uh, two more answers. So let's do second trace. Choose intersect. Enter on first curve, enter on second curve, and I'll put in one for the guess. It'll find it whichever one is closest to. We've got point two, which we know what that is fraction wise, but let's say we didn't. We do second mode, to exit out and then you press math enter enter and that gives us one-fifth and that's our second answer and we got one more answer via the calculator so I do second trace choose intersect so I press five enter on first curve enter on second curve and this is like five or six or something like that so we put in five for the guess press enter four Now, the fundamental theorem of algebra says your largest power to, uh, of a polynomial will tell you how many zeros you have, how many answers. Uh, our largest power is a third power. It says we have three answers. We found all three via the calculator, so we don't have to do anything else. We don't have that problem.